All right then, so now we've used this first car component. Now I want to use a few more in one go. The button component, the badge component, and the avatar component. And we're actually going to nest these components within the card component we just created, which we can do. So if we go to the button component, first of all, we can see how to generate this component using the CLI. And we can do the same thing for the badge component as well. And the command is going to be pretty similar. And the same is going to be true as well for the avatar component. It's always the same CLI command, but with just the component name changed at the end. So you could run all of these three commands one after the other for each component individually, or we could just wrap all of them up inside a single command, put in one component name after the other, and it's going to generate them all then in one go. So I'm just going to copy this avatar command right here, and then we can tack on the button and the badge words at the end of this. Now, you can also have a quick skim through how to use each one of these three components if you want as well, but they're really simple to use and we're going to walk through in our project anyway. Okay then, so let's open up the terminal and I'm going to paste in this command right here. So npx shard cnui at latest add avatar, so that adds the avatar. Then we can just say over here button as well, then another space and then badge. And what that's going to do is install all three components in one go for us and it's going to place all of them inside this ui folder all right so now we can see that's done what i'm going to do is go to this folder and just have a little look at each one so avatar first of all and if we scroll down to the bottom you can see it exports three things avatar avatar image and then avatar fallback so these are the three things we're going to import shortly if we take a look at the badge it should just be one oh no two things sorry we have the badge and also something called badge variants so variants are basically different styles or different kind of themes, I suppose, we can apply to the components. So if you take a look up here, we have these different variants, default, secondary, destructive, and outline. So these are just different styles for the batch. So we'll play around with those. The same is going to be true for the button, actually, as well. So you can see right up here, we have variants like this. We also have sizes. And then down here, you can see at the bottom, we have button and button variants. Awesome. So then let's try adding some of these into our page component. So we want an avatar here. We want a button component here instead of this standard button and then a badge here for this thing. First thing I'm going to do is just import the things we need. I'm going to paste these in. So we want badge from this thing right here. We want the button and we want the avatar, avatar fallback and avatar image. All right, then. so let's scroll down and let's do the avatar. First of all, right here. Now, before we actually start work on the component, what I'd like to do is just bring an image folder and put it into the public folder right here. So this image folder contains a load of different images for the different recipes that we're gonna be using later on. So if we take a look at the data, you can see each one of these different recipes has an image property, and that is the file name for that image, all right? So we're going to use these inside the avatars and these file names match up to these file names over here. Okay. So now we can use those inside the avatar itself. So let's get rid of this first of all, and then we'll do the avatar components. All right. So inside the avatar, we have the avatar image component, which says what image we want to show inside the avatar, but then also an avatar fallback. So if we can't load the image for whatever reason, then we see the fallback instead. So let's have a look. Avatar image like so. And this is a self-closing tag, much like an image tag. And then we have a source. And the source is going to be equal to the path of the image. So I'm going to use a template string, then a forward slash image, which is this image folder right here. And then after that is the file name, which we can get from the recipe image. So output a variable, so dollar sign curly braces, and then recipe dot image. All right. And then we can have an alt tag as well. So alt is equal to recipe image. Doesn't really matter. Okay. So after that, we're going to have the avatar fallback. So avatar fallback. And then we'll close this. Now the fallback could just be maybe the first two characters of the title. So for example, up here, it would be VE or down here, it could be like GR or something. There's other things we could do. I'm just going to do that to keep it simple. So to do that, we will take the recipe, then we'll take the title and then we'll slice it. So slice from zero to two. 
So that gets us the first two characters. All right then. So we're not going to take a look at this just yet. We'll take a look at the end once we've added the button component and also the badge component. So let's do the button first of all. All we need to do is change this to a button like so. And let's place the closing tag right here. Okay. So what I'd like to do is change this to a different style. So, you know, like I said, we have these variants over here. Well, we have a default variant, but we also have these other ones like outline, secondary, ghost, link. So let's just have a look at secondary, for example. So we'll say the variant is going to be equal to, and then it's actually a string, secondary, like so. All right, so let's also put a badge down here. So we will say badge and then vegan, like so. Now we'll keep this as the default style. We might apply a variant later on, but first of all, let's preview the avatar, the button and the badge in the browser. All right then, so looking pretty good. Now we have these little avatars for the images. They don't look great, to be honest. That's purely because the images I found probably weren't the best ones. However, we have them there, they're working. The button looks better, and then we have the badge as well. Now notice this is in light gray, and this is a dark gray. And that's because the dark gray is kind of like the default color in this slate theme or default theme that we have. And the secondary color is the light gray. Now I'd actually like to switch these so that this is the secondary color and this is the default one. So let's go back to the code to do that. So let's grab this variant and take it off. So we're using the default style for the button and we'll apply this to the badge instead. Now, one more thing I want to do is show you the avatar fallback. Now, in order to do that, we have to change probably something inside here. So let's go to the mushroom one, mushroom risotto, and let's change this so it has, I don't know, an extra character like S at the end. Now, this doesn't exist, so it's not going to be able to find that image. So it will revert then to the avatar fallback and show the first two characters of the recipe, which is MU. So let's preview those changes, these changes down here, and also the avatar fallback for that one recipe. All right, so now we can see this is the darker color, and then this is the lighter color in the background, so that's good, that's working. And also the mushroom risotto, now we see MU, the fallback content, instead of the image. Awesome. Cool, so there's three more components we can use. In the next lesson, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the skeleton component to add some kind of skeleton layout which is going to show while the data loads.